Welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and this is going to be my email address where you can send me a valuable feedback. Now let's go ahead and do this question. Now George can paint one X of a certain room in 20 minutes. What fraction of the same room can Joseph paint in 20 minutes if two of them together can paint the room in an hour, working together at their respective rates? Now you can clearly see if I start doing this question, there's going to be a lot of variables in my way. So a better way of doing such questions whenever there are variables in the answer options and whenever you have some variables is to assume a value for variables that makes your life easy. So if George can fill one X of the room, give me a value for X. Let's say six. If it can paint one sixth of the room in 20 minutes, that means to paint the complete room, it's going to take 120 minutes right so for Joseph I don't clearly know what what he's gonna take however together they can paint the room in 60 minutes so if George can paint the room in 120 minutes and together with Joseph he, they paint the room in 60 minutes that means Joseph must be taking 120 minutes you see this is the beauty of choosing the right number over here I chose X to be equal to 6 why because I knew that 120 60 that means this is 120 I don't need to calculate much further right so he's also going to take 120 minutes now Joseph takes 120 minutes so in 20 minutes he's going to fill 120 by 120 that is one sixth of the room right so I assume my x to be equal to 6 I got that Joseph is going to fill paint one sixth of the room in 20 minutes that means only one of the options over here should be giving me one by six right if more than two options are giving that means you have to pick up another number so let's go ahead and check that this is nothing but one by 18 I need one by six this is not my answer this is nothing but three into six by three which is nothing but six again not my answer this is what six minus three which is three divided by three into six which is one by six this might be my answer let me make sure that all other options are giving me different answers so this is nothing but six upon three which is not my answer this is nothing but three by six which is again not my answer so that means my answer is this option so you see my life became so easy once I started using these kind of strategies Stried, started using the options started using variables started assuming values for variables whenever they were variables so it's the way you think that what matters not the way you can solve a question mathematically otherwise this world would be conquered by people who can ace in mathematics right so uh, my, my point here is you just change the way you think and you can see the problem in a whole new new way so for that you have to practice a little bit and uh, just see a question in a different scenario right so this was about this question and uh, if you understood it very well give me a feedback if you didn't understand give me a feedback so please give me a feedback thank you very much and see you next video